In this video, I'm going to review with you how to make paths in Scalar. After you've uploaded your media files and your pages, you'll find that they're simply listed out in your dashboard. They're not accessible to your users or your readers, and they're not in any um, order that makes sense. So Scalar allows for pathing or tags in order to um, make connections between the different pages and the different media files in your Scalar book. And so today we're going to work just on making paths. So to begin with, I just want to give you an idea of thinking about what a path might schematically look like in Scalar. So if you look at this um, uh, representation, this would be one possible path where you'd have your landing page, that book splash page at the very home page, and then it would be connected to several pages following in a very linear style. You might also have a schematic that looks like this, where you have your landing page, that book splash page or home page, which is Scalar's default start page. And then from that, you have one, two, three, four different paths that all come off of that landing page. Your books are going to look something like this, right? Because there'll be four people or three or four people in a group, and each of you will have your own path that you'll follow. You can also do a path that works with um, digression or potentially what we might call associative kinds of orders. And so uh, you've had you've had your book splash page and then the linear pages that follow. But from those linear pages, you might um, move down into another path that is associatively or in some way related to that first page. And then within that path, you could have yet another path that um, uh, the reader might follow. So these paths are nested within each other. At the most complex level, a scalar book or a scalar path could start to look like this, where the user has lots of choices, um, different choices lead for, through different ways through the book. They do tend to get to the same end, at least in the schematic. So for today, what I've done is I've made a schematic of how I want our scalar book to look like so far. Right, so this is a work in progress. And so what I have is our splash page, which we've already created. But I need to connect that to an introduction and table of contents for my whole scalar book. And right now I have two paths that I want to add into that um, table of contents. One is going to be a path of scalar tutorial videos. The other is going to be a path of our practice pages in which we were annotating images. And so in order to do this, what I need to do is I need to make a series of containers. So what you'll see is that these um, subsections, the scalar video tutorial path and the practice annotating image paths are pages that serve as containers for everything that follows, right? So they contain all of these other items or pages. Then this introduction and table of contents is going to be a container for the page that is the scalar video tutorial path and the page that announces the practice annotating images path. Our scalar book splash page is going to be a container for everything. So we'll come back to the schematic a couple times, but I want you to see how it's going to look. So let's go back into our book. So the first thing I want to do is to make sure that I have all the pages set up. So I do need to have a table of contents page. So I'm going to set that up right now. Um, and I'll just give it a description. I'll come back later and do decorative work to it. Uh, and then I would write my introduction here. And we'll come back to this page and add in and make it a path in just a little bit. So you do need to have all your pages set before you start to path them. I'll go ahead and we'll save and view this. There we go. I'm also going to have a page that's going to be the landing page for the Scalar tutorial videos.
And for now, I'm just going to save and do that. I need to make one more page, which is going to be, oops, that one needs to be fixed. I'm going to make one more page. It's going to be the landing page for our practice annotating videos. And you don't have to call them landing pages. You can call it whatever title is appropriate for the section that you're working on. All right, so all my pages are set now. So I'm going to start with the page that is the utmost of, or the out, outermost of our container, and that's going to be our book splash page. And so in order to make this into a path, I'm going to go and edit, and I'll scroll down to relationships down here. I'll click on path, and I'm going to choose the item that it contains. And if you remember from that schematic over here, we want this page to connect to our introduction and table of contents for the whole book. So I'm going to find that introduction and table of contents for the whole book page. Here it is. I have two table of contents. I'm not quite sure why. Um, there we go. So I'll add that in. I'll add selected. And then I'll save and view. And so I've made my first path now. You'll see that on my landing page, it rather than you know, just existing as it is, it will take me somewhere. It'll take me to the table of contents page, which is that page I made just a little while ago. Now this page needs to be a container for these two other pages that I've made, the Scalar Video Tutorial Path and the Practice Annotating Images Path. So I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna click the Edit button scroll down to relationships. I'm going to make a path. And so I'm going to choose the items that this path is going to contain. And there was, they were both called landing pages. It's important that you make your titles um, descriptive and that you also, typically you can put a description in there so, so that you know what each titles or what each page is about or is supposed to do. Uh, typically, except for a few layouts, your users will not see the description. And you'll go over and you'll add selected. You'll see that they're both there. If I want to change the order, I can move them like that. And they do come up numbered in the paths. So I'm going to save and view. And there we go. My table of contents page now has connections to my two landing pages. I can add more later once I make more pages. One thing you'll notice is I didn't give myself a back button. And so I really do need to, when I come back to this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a, um, a button that allows me to go easily back to that table of contents page. You can also go to the practice annotating images. So now, if you remember from our schematic, I need to make each of those two landing pages containers for all these other uh, videos or, or group work. So I'm going to, this is the landing page for the practice annotating images. I'm going to click my edit button twice. The interface will open up. I'll go down to relationships. I'll click path. And then I need to find everything that I want in this path. So I'm going to choose the items that it contains. And I'm in pages. And let's see where we are. Oh, actually, these are all in images. So I want group one. Group two's annotated image, group three's annotated image, four, and I also have group five is annotated images. I'm going to add selected, check that they're all there. 
You also have another option here, and that is when the readers reach the end of this path, you can direct them to another page so that they're not just added a dead end. So in this case, I'm going to direct them back to my table of contents. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. There we go. And then I'll save and view. And so we have the landing page for the practice annotating images. So I can go from group ones. Uh, to group two, and it'll take me all the way through to the end. When I finally get to the last one, you'll see that there's an option to continue to the table of contents page. All right, so I'm also going to make a path for this landing page for Scalar video tutorials. Uh, again, here you go into the edit button, go to relationships, click path, choose the items that this path will contain. I have pages already set here. My scalar tutorials. And save and view. And so just to go through, you'll see that I have my ELIT practice book. I can go to the table of contents page. I now have two uh, paths that I can follow. The landing page are for the scalar tutorial videos or the landing page for annotating images. When I go there, I have my two, uh, two scalar tutorials uploaded. I'll upload more as I make them. I can also go to the landing page for annotating images and I have all of those pages. One last thing I'll show you how to do is to make this pull down menu, which has the table of contents. Right now, it's only got home and the index. And so home looks like that, but I wanna add those pages I've just made, those paths I've just made. So I'm gonna go into my wrench. And here you'll see on the dashboard of the book properties tab is the add table of contents item. So I want to add some of these pages I've just made. And one is this table of contents page. So I'm going to add that. I'm also going to go ahead and just add my landing pages for now because it's useful. I'll add selected. Be sure to save afterward. Go back to your book to see if it all worked. And then when you pull down the menu, you'll see that those uh, different paths that I just made are all available. When you click on the one, it'll actually have all that it contains. So it's a nice way to be able to navigate through your book.